G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today in front of me, uh, I've got Sky RC's latest uh, GPS speed reader here. Uh, it's also known as the GNSS Performance Analyzer. This one's been out for a few months, guys. I've always wanted to try it out. Uh, for the simple fact that my um, current GPS speed reader, it still works fine, but it's getting a bit old. <laughs> um, I've had it for like the last three years and um, even though it's still very accurate when it comes to doing my GPS speed runs, I just noticed that it's taken a little bit longer to initialize and on startup uh, to, you know, boot up the satellites and connect to satellites and so forth. So I thought I'll give this one a go. Um, it runs on Bluetooth, which is handy. And this one actually connects to an app, uh, Sky RC app called GNSSPA, which I'll show you a bit later on. I'll do a screen recording and show you uh, all the ins and outs of that app. And uh, yeah, that's how it basically works. And as you can see, there's no LED screen on this one. It works off, off Bluetooth technology there. And you've got three different status lights, okay? So uh, yeah, guys, as you can see here, it tells you a bit of information. It's a performance analyzer, which allows you to measure and analyze many aspects of your RC car or airplane's performance. You can use this on a boat. Uh, pretty much anything RC, guys. You can use it on a quadcopter even. Uh, it also has a, as well as acceleration, g-force and speed, distance and time, which you could do uh, lap times with this one if you do some circuit racing. It also has a barometric pressure sensor or a barometer inbuilt to detect the height above ground level here and can measure a peak altitude of between 9,500 feet or up to nine kilometers high. So that's pretty impressive from this little unit, guys, okay? So anyway, I've opened this up. Um, I haven't actually tested it in the car. I just wanted to show you how it comes in a package here. On the back, we've got a leaflet and the USB to micro USB cable to uh, charge it up, okay? So there's a micro USB cable. Also comes with this leaflet here. Just a basic uh, startup guide. Tells you everything you need to know. Okay, so for gear tuning, performance testing, so that's for your lap time. It even has different graphs here for acceleration, for uh, you know G force. Okay, track performance test. So this is what I'll be mainly using it for uh, under the track performance test uh, mode on the app. That will show you your speed for your uh, GPS speed runs. Okay. And then it's got the flying mode, okay? And you can test out the uh, actual height, the altitude, and the speed as well, okay? There you go. And all the rest is pretty much straightforward. Uh, I'll tell you some information on the back here. All the different status lights, you know, the blue ones for the Bluetooth connectivity. Green is for uh, the GPS unit itself. Uh, it will lock onto satellites. And the white is either standby mode or working mode. And there's a power indicator as well. It will flash uh, fast, fla fast blinking there for low power. Okay. Now, before using this unit, I had to charge it up, guys. It took me about two hours, maybe just under two hours to charge it up. So they do recommend charging this up as soon as you get it out of the packet. Okay. And uh, it said it should uh, take no more than three hours to charge. The battery should last up to six hours of operation, which is really good, guys. Six hours of actual operation. And in standby mode, the battery, inbuilt battery, will last two weeks. Okay. Now, the app is a GN SSPA app. And you can use this on um, Android or uh, iPhone. Okay. There's a QR code there as well. I can actually show you the app. I've got my Android here. That is what you gotta look up, guys. GN SSPA from SkyRC Technology. And that's it there, okay? All right. And here is the really small SkyRC GPS speed reader unit here, guys, okay? Very small. There's the USB to micro USB uh, slot to uh, charge it up, of course. And uh, it's encased in a pretty good and hard plastic uh, molded shell here so it should take a hit <laughs> if you have it on the outside of your vehicle um 
A lot of guys I've noticed have been putting this inside the RC car shell, which I'll be doing if I can do it. Well, you know, certain applications I probably won't be able to do it, but uh, put a bit of Velcro maybe on the uh, center sh uh, chassis brace on an RC car and just uh, Velcro in place and it will be protected underneath the car shell. Okay, so there's the status lights there. That will, uh, that's the white indicator light for the power. That will go green once it gets satellites and there's a Bluetooth connectivity. As you can see, it's got GPS and GLONASS. So it can pick up the Russian satellites as well for better accuracy. There's also a reset button there. I guess you need a small pin and press that little button if, uh, if needed. All right, guys. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick screen recording. We'll go through the app. And then I'll put it uh, on one of my RC cars and uh, we'll test it out. Okay guys, so I'm got into the app here and immediately the GPS speed reader here connects to this app. All the status lights, the white, green and blue are on as soon as you tap into the app to open it up, okay? You can turn it off up the top right hand corner of the screen there. It says a turn, turn off switch there to get out of it and then it will shut down the GPS unit, okay? So as you can see we've got drag, we've got track, we've got flying. We've got our speedometer down below, we've got start and we've got read. Okay, so if you if you want to do drag races, guys, you can set your speed here, okay, when you want it to start reading. So from zero kilometers to maybe a hundred kilometers, maybe that's your goal. Uh, you can set it to that. Same with the distance. Uh, I already set it to 200, so you can set it to anything you want to really. Say, for instance, you're doing a drag race, uh, RC drag race with friends, you can set that there as well. Now, what I'll be mainly using it for is this middle one, the track, um, just as a standard GPS speed reader there, guys. And you just press start. It will start uh, working, okay? It will start recording. You take off with the car, and then you press stop, and then it will show you there on the red, read. It's got the red dot there, and obviously I haven't, gone anywhere so it's zero kilometers an hour at the moment okay but it does show you uh the mode that you're in the distance traveled during the speed run time elapsed how long it took to do the speed run and your average speed okay now um you got the flying one as well um let me just uh, see how that goes you can read that so you could do the distance time elapsed and this will also do the speed as well for flying and the out altitude as well okay now in the settings icon top right hand corner of the screen it shows you the name of the gps unit you can name it whatever you wish to i'm just going to leave it as that records okay so these are the two demos that i just did it did nothing okay zero so it will store i don't know how many it will store it will store quite a few uh, you got your unit, so if you're in America, I guess you want to do it in miles per hour. I use the metric system here, so I always like to have it in kilometers an hour. Firmware version, I guess maybe they're going to do some firmware updates on this, which would be good. Clear the cache on the device, which I'll clear. Okay, so there should be no records now. Oh, there is. <laughs> okay, I thought there might not be. But clear the cache on the device uh, and the app version and privacy policy that's basically it guys fairly straightforward fairly simple you got your battery indicator there it's got 99 or went down to 98 99 battery in the gps unit itself and we're pretty much ready to go so what i'm going to do guys i'm going to put this on one of my rc cars or trucks and we'll test it out okay. guys i've got the sky rc gsm 020 speed reader on board now i've got on board my W L Toys 124018. I thought it'd be fun to do some uh, speed runs on this field here. All right, guys. So it's turned off at the moment. I've just got a Velcro strapped on there, a bit of Velcro underneath, and on the actual car itself. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the app. Okay, and it will turn on immediately. There. Can you see those lights? Okay, now the only lights that are missing are the ones for the GPS system. The actual GPS is going to search for satellites. Now, uh, what I'll do, I'll do a screen recording at the same time. 
Okay, I'll get out of that. And you'll be able to see a screen recording now, guys, all right, as I, uh, as I start these speed runs. Now, I've got five satellites ready. And it's indicated by a green light in the center there for the satellite. And we're ready to go, guys. Okay? So what I want to set it on is track mode. And just press start. Okay? And it's ready to go. So let's see how this works. Just got my phone in my pocket. Just uh, charged up the standard 2S. Got the WL Toys 12428 wheels on it. Tell you what, this uh, field has dried up a fair bit since I was here a couple of weeks ago flying FPV. It was nice and green a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so let's stop the 124018. And all we have to do now is press stop on the app. And now it says read. And we got 47 kilometers an hour, guys. You will see that on the screen recording. Average speed of 27 kilometers an hour. I've done a whole distance of, uh, total distance of 332 meters going up and down this field here. All right, and uh, you can share it as well if you wish to. So that's pretty cool. All right, so what I might do, I'm gonna do that again. But this time I'll do it in miles per hour for my friends over in the US. Okay, so we'll go into the unit section and I'll change that to miles per hour. We'll go back. We can see our records for the track, 29 mile an hour. That's what it converted to. So I'm going to do a run in miles per hour. Okay, we'll go back to track. Let's start that again. Okay, it should have started. We've got 12 satellites now. 97% battery on the GPS unit. And we'll see if we can get 29 mile an hour. So yeah, pretty good unit, guys. I mean, I like how it's... Uh, all the results end up popping up on the app really handy little tool there for doing speed runs drag racing lap times or even use it on a on a plane or a quadcopter or even a boat all right let's see the results in mile per hour second run there i'll press stop Reed, we got 30 mile an hour then, so one mile an hour better, and I'll convert that to kilometers an hour, unit, kilometers an hour, I think we got 47 before, uh, we'll go to records, might be on the second track one here, 48 kilometers an hour that time, okay. See so yeah, guys, really good unit. Um, you know, like I said, you could use it for different applications. And uh, I think it's definitely worth uh, buying one of these, especially if you don't have a, uh, a GPS unit and you wanna, you're in the market for one. Or even if you have got an old one like I have and you just wanna upgrade, I really like the uh, portability of this too. Uh, like I said before in the unboxing overview section of this video, you could easily, I mean, I could have easily put it inside the, the cabin here somewhere, you know, but in most uh, cases, if you've got a, a buggy shell or a car shell, you can easily put it underneath. If there's room to do so, you can easily protect this unit by putting it underneath the shell. So, uh, yeah, great unit, guys. I really do like it. This is the Sky RC GS M020. Uh, it's a performance analyzer they're calling it, and yeah, it's a GPS speed reader as well as um, a data a data log uh, device as well for uh, altitude, uh, you know, distance, the whole lot. So it's an all-in-one tool, guys. So it's pretty awesome. If you enjoyed this video, guys, feel free to give it a thumbs up, 
sure do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. As always, guys, I'll leave the link to this unit in the description below, all right, and where you can pick one of these up. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, enjoy the hobby, and catch you then. Bye for now. This thing goes great off road with these sides. <laughs> Alright, guys, catch us later.